Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Welcome, kids. Hello, Holy. Have you decided which disciple you are going to tell us about today? Of course, I have. Today's story is about Simon the Zealot. Zealot. Who's a zealot? Let's listen to the story and find out. The zealots were one of the little-known followers of Jesus, who were also known as the Canaanites or zealots. The zealots also lived in Galilee, and Simon the zealot was one of them. The zealots were fanatical Jewish nationalists who completely disregarded the suffering and struggle involved for what they regarded as the purity of their faith. The zealots had immense hatred for the Romans, and it was this hate that destroyed the city of Jerusalem. Josephus records that the zealots were reckless people and were zealous in good practices. Not much personal information is known about Simon the Zealot, but from the background of the Zealots, one can understand that he was a fanatical nationalist. He had immense devotion to the law and bitter hatred for people who dared to compromise with Rome. Yet Simon emerged as a man of faith. He gave up all his hatred for the faith he had in his master, and the love he was willing to share with the fellow disciples, and especially Matthew, the Roman tax collector. There was a time when Simon the Zealot would have killed anyone in loyalty to Israel. He became a man who understood that God will accept no forced service. Simon the Zealot, too. Died as a martyr, and his apostolic symbol is a fish lying on a Bible, which indicates that he was a fisherman who later became a fisher of men through preaching. That was an interesting story indeed. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you all enjoyed the story as much as we did. We'll be back soon. Stay tuned. Bye bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There. God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole world.